Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Tommy G's Gaming Channel here, and um, looks like uh, this is going to be my next run here, going from the Yastuk, taking 11 tons of forklifts, I guess three lifts we're going to pick up the Yastuk here in Banja Luka, uh, Bosnia, and we're going to, we got two hours, four, six minutes, all runs out, we're going to get 26,000 euro, we're taking 11 tons of forklifts to, it looks like, rump, doesn't it? I don't think that... I don't think I got that last letter right, though. But uh, it was either that or Bitola, North Macedonia. But that's an urgent delivery. I don't know if I can make it. These guys need it Thursday. Uh, 11, when? Thursday, 13, 54. We got a little bit more time on this. Standard delivery, high-value cargo. So let's make it happen, Captain. All right, here we are then. And uh, We'll get there and then I'll tell you, you know, I'll get, I'll get into talking about stuff. But first, let's make sure we know how to go where we got to go. Where we got to go and we got to get there. Got a lever. Got everything going. I got, I have to get a new, I have to get a new uh, truck, a new garage and all that stuff. But I'm not going to get it out here. I don't believe this. I'm going to get my lights on. There we go. All right. Oh, and my wipers, obviously. And I'm turning left, I suppose. So yeah, here in Banja Luka. Um, I think uh, Pete sort of tied up recently, so... Um, I have to get a security check to get out of here. I'll say they pass the security check after they open the gates. Um, yeah, so I think Pete's still in the country, but he may be here until he goes back to the States. Uh, he's a little tied up in things. In real life, but Pete, this drives for you, buddy. Um, I've got this drive, and probably, probably two more before I head back to the states. And again, in that amount of time, I'm gonna want to purchase a new garage and a new truck. But to do that, I gotta head west, and I'm heading east. So I got this run, and then hopefully a couple other long runs to get me out to. Atlanta. Either Italy or France. There was a load here in town that could get me to Metz, on. France. But I thought I should should still venture east, make my way out there. I cannot see this uh, light there. traffic here because they will get you Oop, I'm in the wrong lane there let's let's get back in here and get this thing <laughs> sorry I want to do some externals and it was not the time we have plenty of gas we don't need sleep if we're gonna need to turn left up ahead here keep left then turn left I'm gonna follow that Fire truck up ahead. Basically, where we're going. Turn left. Oh, and of course the light turns now. Or I gotta slam on my brakes. Once again, I don't see the light, but at least these guys will go. And that'll clue me in as to when I need to go. Nice little place across the road there, a little cafe of sorts. I can't read the signs out here. Because <laughs> I don't speak Bosnian. 
Although I do know the yellow triangle means we have the right of way on this road. Banya Luke, I'm finally gonna get out of this country. I, if you've been watching, um, I've not had the best fortune in Bosnia. So we're gonna head out east towards Romania. See what what's up what's up with that? Can't tell what that now if you if you pause frame you should be able to read that sign, but when I'm driving past I can't tell. I don't know what the light means, the flash of white light. Get ready to yeah, it seems like it'd be an important thing. Well, the guy behind me didn't didn't stop either, so apparently I was doing the right thing. Turn right. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. All right, doing it. Yastuk. That's me. I'm Yastuk. <laughs> At least that's where I'm going today for pick up my load. Looks like it's barely raining. Like we still have cloud cover and stuff. This is where it ends. Is it though, Doug? Or is this where it begins? Alright, let's get out and talk to some people here. We got business to do in Banjo Luca. Just taking a look. Where we could go if we were here we could go to Ancona. Italy. This is the urgent delivery. They need it there by Thursday, fourteen fifty, or Thursday, fourteen eleven. Fragile. This one actually makes a lot more money. Shoot, people. Do should I go to Craiova, Romania? Yeah, I think I, that's what I was doing first. We'll go east. We'll head east, young man. I hope I don't regret this. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, we're around back on this one. So this is. What are we picking up here? Oh yeah, these. It's mostly like a this is a lumber, like a lumber plant. my window down so I can look outside here. That up. Pop outside here. Check the load, we would go around the back and check to make sure all the cables, all the straps are on there. Those look pretty good. Before I was looking at that one where I had the um, marble slab, that did not look put on well. Where is my landing gear? There it is. Pull the landing gear up. We've got cables now hooked up for air and power. So we got lights and brakes. Go jump inside because it's raining out look at our, our way bill in here Wednesday it's uh eight, what oh no okay it's Wednesday 11 36 a.m. they need it tonight Wednesday 8 no 10 50 no this one think I'm gonna get there Wednesday 10 50 they need it by Thursday 14 11 but I'm gonna need to rest along the way so let's get going we got uh, yeah thir 11 tons of forklifts three of them and the Cryova rump. It is rump. Now 26 grand is going to pull us in. And we got 456,000 in the bank. Crazy how much my drivers are making. Take this little level here. Push that forward. Take off my parking brake. Button. Second gear. Roll forward a little bit. The wheels rolling on the pavement. And we are leaving the... Yanka or whatever it is. Where the heck are we? 
and Banya Luka, Yastuk, and Banya Luka, Bos Bosnia, right? I think that's where we are. On our way to Romania, we're gonna head east. And hopefully it'll stop raining. We're on our way. Later, you stoop folks. You could spend the night there if you had to. Get You're at the uh, stoop right. banjo lucka. Turn right. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna compile some different things to say while I'm driving. Ooh. But uh, I forgot to tell you, I was going to go over some of my subscribe channels. Give you some ideas for some other channels to look at if you, if you like this channel, or I guess if you like what I like. Well, you kind of are supposed to turn left here, aren't you? Did you see that, though? Now, yes, I came over, but I got the offense before I actually touched him. That's kind of crap. But what am I supposed to do there? I guess this light just means caution. Oh god, I can't have a clean... I can't have a clean run, huh? Get an accident before you leave town. I can't wait to get out of this country. I ain't ever coming back to Bosnia. <laughs> to Romania. Yes. Friendly or two. Although I gotta drive through quite a bit of this country before I get where I'm safe. <laughs> yeah, it's been like partially cloudy but raining. But it's just spitting. Just enough to make me have to have my lights on and my windshield wipers. Get ready to turn right. And get ready. I made it to the intersection first, so I'm not getting the ticket. Looks like I have a roundabout to go through. We'll bus stop there. Apis oil. Take the second exit. Will do. Lucky that guy wasn't exit now. Going my way because I did not take that gracefully. Now again, I'm I'm trying to do this stuff by the book. So, although that was not really by the book, was it? Keep left. All right. Then turn left. I'm gonna make it happen from here on out. People, watch this perfect run. Turn left. Famous last words. I don't. Uh, of course, I'm coming up to the light. Yeah, they're trying to get you, though. The game is trying to submarine me. That's a camper? Am I renting that thing driving it around out here? Materia, 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 yala. Oji la koi. Here I'm taking them wide. Radus, not turning the here. Right. Not here. Here. Turn right. right. Like the rain's gonna be letting up here. go for just a moment longer, especially since I'm getting on the road. Supposed to yield, but I'm going. <laughs> and they're gonna, uh, they're gonna be fine with that. Because I figured I had, I had the jump on them, so 
Again, I wasn't being dangerous. I was just being, uh... Gosh, my wipers here. There we go. Okay, finally on the highway, people. All right, so let's talk shop here. So, let's see. Since I last drove, went out to visit my friend Matt uh, in real life out in California, went flying. So Matt has, uh, I believe, probably by the time this airs, will have edited the. It was 70, huh? Will have edited the uh, video of our flight. It's going to be posting that up to his channel, I think. I think I'll be able to get a link to that. So I'm going to want to. Um, oh crap, every time you get going in this stupid country. Gonna post that to his channel. I could have taken that other one. A lot of men here, folks. Checking my docks. We're good. Right on, people. Take her easy. It is 30 degrees out Celsius, so we're going to want to have the windows up. Come in my lane, you. you see, oh, we got another one right up here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so anyway, he's gonna have the flight video on his page, and I'll I think I'll get the link to it So you can see us flying in real life. You actually get to see Matt and me not that I don't usually like to have my face On my page because I don't think it matters to people who are watching my channel to see me They're More tuned in to see what I'm doing but nevertheless We shall be Right there, and you shall see us drive or fly. Sorry, I'm driving, which is you think drive. Oh man, I did not leave that in the right gear. X ray haul, huh? They got an X ray my trailer. That was weird, weird kind of drawing. Stop the engine. THS scan MB 1215 DE. Gonna scan our cargo. Make sure we're safe. All right. Take our parking gear off. And out we go. 1 o'clock p.m. And it's taking us a little while to get out of here, isn't it? Did I not close my window? <laughs> I heard the window open when they're running an x-ray. I suppose that's okay. I thought I heard an unusual amount of noise. Oh my gosh. 
people, if you're traveling through Bosnia, don't. <laughs> That's my advice. If you're going to travel through Bosnia, just don't. Go straight on. Can't wait to get back to the States. Back to the cutest girls in the world. Uh, Tanya uh, or Gunscare. Oh, they got organic food scams out here, too. <laughs> Why are these people... Oh, I guess there's a... We have the merge lanes here. Although it looks like trucks are supposed to go on the right. Hey, they got it in English. Pay toll. Yeah, it looks like I can do... We're going to do trucks on the right. Me and this guy... Me and the intermodal up here are gonna... He should peel off to the right. Yeah, there he goes. Needs a little more space. Yeah, that's how we're gonna spend our afternoon, just getting out of the country. Remember my advice about Bosnia? It's a bit, uh, a bit close there on those, those turns. Get ready to turn right. Yeah, I'd like to get on a highway that will get me turn right. not having to pull over at a checkpoint every mile and a half. Might be it. I feel good about this stretch here. So anyway, you'll be able to see me and Matt flying for real. We took, he took a, uh, he's a private pilot. I've, I'm a private co-pilot. <laughs> um, we took a 172 from Santa Barbara out to San Luis Obispo for lunch. Uh, yeah, I spent the whole weekend out there, so we, had, we did a lot of other stuff as well, but we had a good time. And you get to see the flight. Hopefully pretty soon. Stay tuned for that. Um, for flight simulator. You can see our last flight. We're still we thought we were gonna finish up the North New Zealand. Didn't have time to do that, so that's probably gonna be the next video on the channel. Uh, we're hoping to finish the North New Zealand tour because we want to get back to doing some more DCS and other other uh, combat flight simulator stuff I know he's got he's got a lot invested in D DCS um, I got to see his stick went out to visit him he's got a uh, he's got a flight stick with things full metal it's sweet <laughs> nice got a nice setup better card than I do but uh Yes, it's fun. Good, good times. Good trip out there. Um, you could tell by listening to the broadcast that he's uh, it's a good guy. Good guy. I love you, Matt. <laughs> um, anyway, and then uh, let's see what after that <clears throat> on Twitch you could. You can watch me, Tommy Naperville, on Twitch. Um, mostly, I mean, I do I do stuff with Eric Pete on there each weekend. Whatever we do, I think we did Wildlands last weekend. Although it went, it was not uh, challenging. And then uh, we did uh, Red Dead Online. I think we're gonna try and do some more Red Dead Online. I missed that game. That's beautiful. I got. I think I have one still on Twitch. Again, Tommy Naperville. 
uh, just Pete and I just ranged around. We're just getting reacquainted with things, but there's a lot still to do on Red Dead. <clears throat> I'm also into my 2022 season for Formula One F1 Manager 2022. I'm loving that. And I wait. Oh, no. Sorry. Am I not in gear? Sorry. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's gonna drop to eighty. Am I gonna have to stay at eighty? Tesla, didn't it? Get them at ninety now. Gonna accelerate there. I think I can go eighty-five. That'll be good. Or eighty. What am I set at? Yeah, eighty-five. So, um. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm loving that. Now, I didn't even know until I went out and visited Matt. I was telling him about my season. And he knew all the drivers I was talking about. I didn't know that <clears throat> Netflix had a series on. It's like six seasons. They're actually filming their seventh season called Drive to Survive. And it's it, they're just following the F1 teams, you know, the, the management, everything. It's just following the drivers, the teams, and it's just all the sort of the drama and the just the you know behind the scenes look at, at what it's like to be an F1 you know, in the F1 season. And it's it's so interesting. I love it. I'm watching it. My wife's kind of but now I'm really getting to know these drivers because I've always been really interested in F1 but never never into it. So I want to get into it. And I'm getting into it now, so I'm really loving the game now, and I feel like I understand it uh, a little bit better. I mean, there's still some game mechanics that I have to wrap my head around. Yeah, I'm kind of in two different lanes. Seven euro, that's cool. I'm halfway to needing more sleep. And then we got something else coming up here. So now it looks like we're going into Czech Republic. That, that what that looks like to you? Or Slovenia? Two people. I do not know my Balkan states. <clears throat> I'm pretty darn good. That's the Czech Republic. I'm pretty good with geography, too. Uh, if I... If I do say so myself, I know a lot. I get a little bit lost around the Balkan states. There are so many. And I'm not, I'm just not familiar with that part of the world. So if you live out that way, you got a beautiful place out here. But um, I'm going to butcher the names. And I'm going to get a lot of stuff wrong. And don't hold it against me. Especially don't hold it against me that I've had such a terrible trip in Bosnia there. And when I say I can't wait to not come back, don't take it personally. I have very oh come on, very bad memories of your of your country. It was not you. Me. Alright. Later folks. And another one. Just for good measure. These things every hundred feet. Keep right. Then exit right. Yeah, I know. I have no other choice. Exit right. Now I think is that Slovenia? All right. 
I don't know how to say hello. I'll just nod. Okay. Later. What gear am I in? Alright, I have somebody behind me too. What time is it even? 16 night 4 19 p.m. Still 29 degrees. <clears throat> Excuse me. One moment, please. I needed to clear my throat. Yeah, is that still the No, is it Sorry people. I I am actually pretty proud of my geographic knowledge and I am pretty ashamed that it's so poor in this part of the world. I think I know African flags better than I do um Balkan flags. But this ain't gonna help me. This isn't gonna want me gonna make me want to remember any of this. I'm gonna want it to all go away like a bad dream. <laughs> no offense. Again, it's not you. It's your stupid country. No, I'm kidding. are wait so what I like to see hey look at this you won't believe this another checkpoint or is this just a toll oh, this is a toll I couldn't have collected the toll at a checkpoint see this is just it's efficiency people if if you're gonna do this put the toll at the last station that way I can get going like out of fourth gear for crying out loud, and I am crying very loudly. In case you couldn't tell. I'm gonna go, guy. Thanks, sir. You're okay. <clears throat> you can see the kind of day I'm having, right? 5 o'clock p.m. Looks like people around me got their lights on, so guess what? Putting our lights on a little early night. Head east. <clears throat> yeah, so. I'm loving F1 manager. So on my, you can see on my uh, Twitch channel. Tommy Naperville on Twitch. That, uh. I'm managing the team between races on that channel. And yeah, my last one on there, it's, we're between the second and third race. Melbourne, Australia is our next race. And uh, the last episode was an hour just back at the, at the um, facility in North Carolina. <clears throat> going through emails, sitting, doing going scouting reports, tweaking the car. Um, you know, we, I think we ordered some parts. We, set up some designs for some new parts just you know the office work the management and uh, we even hold on one second I need to clear my throat again keep left and then keep right keep left then turn right interesting we um <clears throat> in this season 2022 are are well you I mean so i recommend going to the channel the next one on twitch uh probably tomorrow is going to be i'm going to do practice and time trials down in melbourne so we did all the between race stuff and now the team is on the on the plane down to melbourne <clears throat> and our our friend paul dumont the principal there my alter ego, he's going to, uh, we're going to do time trials, or, you know, practice in time trials, get used to the car. And 
So that'll be on Twitch probably tomorrow. And then the race days are all going to be here on YouTube. Um, so there are 22 races. And you will see them all on YouTube. They're going to be... I do not... I do not fast forward to them. <clears throat> so they're real time. Uh, I, for two reasons. One, I enjoy watching it. And uh, as principal, you do, there's not much to do on a race. There's not a ton of things to do on a race day. You can micromanage. You can tell your team, you know, your car to push, uh, hold back, stuff like that. Um, but I approach it as the principal. So I figure, you know, I've got, I got, I have staff in these positions to manage this stuff. And they should do a good job managing it. And if they don't, I can always scout out new staff. So, again, I think it's my job to put the, t the right team in place and then kind of, you know, as a good manager does, let them do their work. Uh, they're experts in their fields. Um, the one thing I do manage, you know, full hands-on every time is the strategy. And that's just saying, okay, what, what tires are we going with? And if we have to make a change, now we've had two races with dry conditions. We haven't had to race in wet weather yet, but if we did, you got to call an audible. You got to bring them in and put your wet tires on, stuff like that. So I, that's that's up to me. I mean, I think they're, I think the, the race engineers would also chime in and say, boss, I think we need to do this. So I mean, essentially they, they're going to prompt, prompt you to do it. But uh, you should be on top of that anyway. Um, so that's mostly what I'm doing, watching what, what laps they're on. But then it's also, you know, just keeping an eye, seeing how things are, are working, seeing how they're doing, how they're reacting to different situations, how often they, how aggressive they are, how often they attempt to overtake, how many times they're overtaken, who they're fighting against. We're battling with McLaren and, uh, turn right. and Alpha Tori in, in 22. So in 22, my two drivers are, um, right. we got the young kid, the 23-year-old German uh, Rick Schumacher, Mick Schu I'm sorry, Rick. Mick Schumacher, scraping the side there a little bit, but that's okay. Either the side or the truck. Those are my options. I picked the right one. Stand by that position. Ready to turn right. Um, turn right. Yeah, so Mick Schumacher, um, my younger driver. Has experience. Oh, looks like they're building a new. I think they're building a new road out here. A new overpass. 130. Wow. But yeah, it's gonna be 90 for trucks. Got some guys standing up there on the bridge. Going over the plans. Oh yeah, the bridge isn't quite finished yet. I think it looks like they put that bypass right into the mountain there. Maybe they got, uh, maybe they need, maybe they need, uh, some equipment out here to help with. Beautiful weather so far once we left, uh, Banya Luka. Yeah, so my latest one, uh, so Schumacher, uh, dealing well with his crew chief. Um, but he's inexperienced. He's making about a half million a year. Um, oh, where's I get going? But we decided to scout. I decided to scout uh, Valeri Bo Botas, the Finnish I'm gonna have to look for, I gotta look for somewhere to spend the night soon. Finnish driver. He's, uh, he's 
he, he drove with Mercedes for many years, but he's in this, in 2022, he's driving for Alfa Romeo. And he's open to negotiations. Now Haas, the team I picked, is the lowest level team. It's like the biggest challenge, but I picked him because I thought, well, if F1 was gonna give me a crack, it was gonna be, you could cut your teeth on a, you know, on a unproven team. Haas is the only American Formula One team in the circuit. So the expectations are also lower. I thought maybe I could, maybe I could manage that. Um, but you, I like the two drivers. Schumacher is, uh, is my Dane. Or no, Magnussen is my Dane. So I looked at Botas, and he would be he would be a great driver. He, if I'm reading the stats correctly, had 11 podiums last season, 22 races. He was on the podium half the time. A uh, 35-year-old driver would would bring some incredible talent. You know, Haas make us, you know, put us on the map, and really put us in the running. But his salary to let our other driver go and to pick him up would almost wipe us out for the season for the like our remaining funds. We, we've spent thus far. We've spent some. I'm gonna go with the one after this. Let's start. We spent some some considerable money. Uh, under under Paul Dumont's management who upgrades and facilities put in a driving simulator uh, to boost driver performance um, I think we added added a uh, sort of a you know we we can take we can take uh, guests on on tours now and uh, that makes us some money I think we're, we're pulling in net like forty thousand forty thousand dollars a month on facility tours and stuff so have to eventually okay I'm going fast on this guy so I will pass but I don't know how long it's gonna take me I'm not going much faster than he is I gotta get over to the right though. This guy ain't gonna let me, is he? I decided to accelerate. I'm gonna go 90. Come on over. Alright, now I'm going to speed limit. <clears throat> so I don't think I can hire, I don't think we can pick in Botas because. We wouldn't have anything left for the rest of the season. And we're going to need, like, replacement parts and stuff like that. So it's just not economically feasible at this point. I picked up F1 Manager 2023, so next season I go straight into that. I'm not going to pull another season on 22, so it'll be, it'll be fun and interesting. But yeah, so look for those to happen. Keep They're right. I've, exit right. I've decided <sighs> to post those... Right. Can't do it. Okay, this is going to become. Okay. Of course. Let's find a new I have a detour on the one, the one stop I have. How about that? <clears throat> I'm going to hope to stay at this gas station across the way. Looking down at my fuel. I'm good for fuel, but it's just sleep that's going to be. I'm starting to yawn already. <clears throat> my hopes
hope is to get there. <clears throat> Although I don't know how far I have to go to turn around here. Oh boy, I don't yeah, I don't know I don't know how far this thing's gonna have me go. I'm gonna have to just pull in here for the night. I'm gonna get some fuel first. Shut it off, step outside. Diesel price, pretty good. Put the pump here. So that's kind of going with F1 2022. So I'm gonna honk it at me because I'm, I'm filling up. You know what? The wait, tough guy. I'm not gonna be a jerk, but I'm gonna take care of my business and you're just gonna get you're gonna get in as you get in. Don't wanna hit the pump of my trailer there. Alright, so where's the sleeping here? Right over here. Next to the Nos Pateragas. Aren't I? Come on, I'm not getting to think. Are you kidding me? This this game has had so many of these. You know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do my trailer here. I'm gonna drop my trailer here and park in this. Oh, there we go. That's funny. It's like I'm not. I guess I guess I needed to have my trailer in the back. And I do. I'm just I'm squeaked in here. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna spend the night here. See you in the morning. Early in the morning. Six oh four a.m. All right. Up inside, see if I take a look at my map real quick here. Where the heck do they have us going? What the crap here? Is this the best? I guess this is the best way. We we missed this turn because of the. We were supposed to go like this. And because we missed that one turn, we have to go all the way down to Nice. Turn around and head back up. To cry over. We're going to be late on this stupid thing. Unbelievable. Look at that. We came from Banja Luka. Down here. Go over there. Then we got to go back over. Uh, if there's... If there's still a, a thing there I would literally drive off the road to get around it I, I wouldn't do that normally you know you follow the rules of the road but if it's if it's got a glitch that can't let you go past the spot or either that or I'd abandon the load <clears throat> I guess that would be the the proper thing to do would be to abandon your load yeah it's 6.06 a.m., so you need to have your lights on. They will ticket you. We're not having lights. <clears throat> How much money do we have there in the bank? 4.91, almost half a million in the bank right now. Unbelievable, right? Actually, I need to see a little closer on this thing. It looks like we, we get off here. 
Well, I guess it's a road we wouldn't have seen otherwise, right? We were, we were on a little sightseeing tour. Although I don't hear Doug saying anything. Wait, where's my, where's my GPS guy? He didn't say a thing. I think there's, I don't think I have every DLC for this right now. I think there's a trailer pack that I'm, the Turstan trailer or whatever, I don't have. I gotta look at the DLC for this. <clears throat> but like I say, I'm. Keep right, and then exit right. I'm looking forward to getting back to the States. Driving in America again because that is that's the stuff I like that a lot. I mean, it's neat to get out here to do the Europe thing, but three months is enough. I'm looking forward to get back, and that's gonna that's gonna coincide with the baseball season. So it is currently, as this is being recorded, beginning of March, and uh, is our last <coughs> month in hiatus between baseball seasons. We start up again in April, <clears throat> Super Mega 4. New team, new look, new stadium. I'll stay here since I'm fine. Anyway. Oop, did I kill it? Apparently I did. Fashion outlet. Yeah, so we'll, this is the last month in Europe. Like I said, I'm going to be driving here tonight. I think I'm going to drive Europe two more times. I think I'm going to try and Go make straight on. my way back around. So here we are, Nice. Make my way back around uh, west. I can buy a garage and a new truck, hire a new driver before I get out of town. At the roundabout, take the third exit. me folks all right so that wasn't as no bad of a, of a detour as I was anticipating at least it seemed to go a little quicker beautiful weather here today um, so what I have to do with them so now the last week of March is spring break and we are going to be busy family with spring break Go stuff so I'm not gonna have it I'm not gonna be posting anything then I'm gonna do two more Euro truck drives um keep right but then I also have to get ready for the baseball season which means I have to what I do for that is I don't know if I'm gonna have a new intro Hold on, hold on. I stay, I stay right. Sorry. I know I got traffic piling up here. I couldn't quite tell from this, and I didn't want to make the wrong, the wrong move here. Because I didn't. 
didn't quite understand that yet. Now I got a bunch of cars behind me. <clears throat> Good, huh? <laughs> so, um, what I have to do to prepare for the baseball season, I don't know if I'm going to do a new intro for my channel. The last two seasons I've had a different intro. If I did, I'd have to get a new, you know, get new animation, put new credits in the credits. Um, put new music in I've been, I've been using music that I composed years ago but I only have six songs on this like compilation that I composed so I'm kind of running out of those I may just stay with the same intro this season but I don't know because see we're in a new we're in a new team in a new city new stadium I feel like maybe Maybe I need to do something new, I don't know. That's up in the air, so I may have to make a new intro. Or not. I definitely have to make new credits. Because my other credits were talking about, you know, B-Wolves and all that stuff like that. So I gotta get the new logo for the new team, get that up there. I create text that rolls and talks about the different city that we're in because I can B-Roll from whatever city we're traveling to. Or, or the, the home city. Um, I've got, you know, there's 37 games this season. Half of them are going to be on the road. So what is that, 15, 16, 17, 18? 18 games on the road. So we're going to have, uh, well, 37 flyovers. Half of them for our home city. And uh, half of them for the cities we visit, like at Microsoft Flight Simulator. Some of them I do in Truck Simulator as well, like Street Views. But I capture those little 30-second clips and that's my roll in. After we do the intro, we do this little clip of the either a street scene or a flyover of the city we're at. And that leads into the game. It gives you just a a little bit of a you know, situational awareness as to where we're supposed to be. Kind of you know, sets the mood for for what you're about to see. So, you know, if we're on the road in New York, you do a like a you know, a flyover in New York City. And then here you are at Apple Field, and you get that spatial appreciation. You know what I mean? Get ready to turn left. So that that turn takes, left. as you can imagine, that takes quite a bit of work. Because once I get those and I edit them all in and I and I create every little opening thing and it's got a number system and I put that in my thing and then when the game comes up, it's game number four, I just swap out, you know, when I'm doing my editing. We record the game, I pull it into my editing software and I put the number four intro in, I put the number four credits in at the end, I make whatever little cuts I do in the highlights in the previous game. So that way during the season, um, it gives me less work. Like I said, I just I just record the game and then I drop those elements into the front and the back, and I can edit quickly and get them broadcast. But we are going to be in a new city. I think we've decided. I'm I, I'm pretty certain we're going to accept the we're going to be the um, Texas Ramblers. And it's a new expansion team. Totally new team, totally new stadium. Corral in Dallas. Uh, half of our games are going to be in the Corral in Dallas. Uh, you know, different players. I don't know if we get... We haven't even looked at the lineup yet. I also have to amend some of the ages of some of the players. Because... Uh, you know, we've, we did a few seasons of Super Mega 3, so I'm going to age the players up to where they should be so that it doesn't, you know, they don't drop back in age a few years. So that takes a little bit of work, but yeah, we, are, we will, you know, probably early April, 
do a couple of exhibition games on Twitch just to get just to get a feel for this team players on the team you know see who's okay who's first of all how, how the how does Super Mega 4 how does it play so we can use the mechanics of that and second to you know just get sort of a feel for who's strong and and what our strengths and weaknesses are. We gotta get used to the new, the new system has, uh, you know, it's not a new game. People have been playing it for a little bit. I think it's been out for almost a year. There's different synergies within the team. Uh, players have different traits that, you know, work well together or don't work well together. So there's gonna be a lot more going on in the management aspect there when you're talking about managing personalities. Um, You know, you may have situations arise that you need to make a quick decision that could have a positive impact on some players, a negative on others. There's going to be a lot more to deal with in the season. Uh, you know, and then we're going to be calling them too. So we're going to be the, the Ramblers' first play-by-play -play pair for the first season for this new team. And there's there's a handful of new teams as well, new cities. So it's going to be interesting. I almost Almost every team has their own stadium. I think the only the only teams to share a stadium are the New York teams. It's the only the only um, location that has two clubs. Applefield still home to the New York Wide Loads and the New York Wild Pigs. Other than that, a lot of teams moved out uh, to new stadiums, and basically everywhere we go, it's going to be a new stadium. And I believe I believe we will get to. I'm fairly sure. I don't know. I, I, I think the math works its way out, where we will get to play in every stadium at least once. I believe that may not be true, but uh, for some reason I thought it was. Nice little drive here, huh? Nice two-lane highway, and I think... I think we are finally in Romania, I believe. Neutral here. I think we're in Romania. I'm not certain. I guess if I go to my map... I'll look at my map when we're up here. We got a... looks like a checkpoint of some sort. I turned my lights off for crying out loud. There's a flag. Well, that'll give it away, right? Order check. Alright, well, while they're checking, take a look at the map. Oh, we're just about to cross over. We are in Belgrade. So this is Romania. We're not going to Romania here. This is Bulgaria. I think we're going to go through Bulgaria. It looks like there's a photo op up ahead. And then we cross into Romania. The rump there. But yeah, we want to try, if we can. What side is it on? We want to take a picture up ahead there. All right, keep it going. That's a Romanian flag, isn't it?
Oh, we just drive through? I didn't even know we were being x-rayed. And then another... Another pass here. All right, well... Checking my docks. there stop in if you needed to kids go to the bathroom if you're driving with the family Bulgaria all right so we are in Bulgaria look a microphone right ribbon microphone Yeah, so April, baseball coming back. Super Mega 4, Pete and I have left Phoenix. We're no longer with the B-Wolves. We will be calling games for the Texas Ramblers. Tune in and watch that whole season. That should be good. Uh, you know, we've got some affinity with some other players, so you never know who we make moves for. But, again, it's a new team. We Now, when we were with the B-Wolves, we kind of had... We took a minimalist approach, especially when you got a good team like that. There was, uh, you don't want to, you don't want to, I think, you don't want to do too much too soon. You want to see, you want to get a good feel for how things are working and how things are not working and make fine-tuned adjustments. You just start whipping people around, especially with the new mechanic as far as the you know, player attributes goes. You can cause a lot of damage if you don't know what you're doing and if you're, if you're not managing people well. So I think it's going to be best to, you know, um, keep a handle on our on our desire to pull the trigger on, you know, signings and releases too quick, but uh, I think things through pretty pretty solidly. But it'll be neat to get back in the game. Get ready to turn. I know we, yeah, I know I'm running, running up on the clock here because. Turn left. Because of that detour. We may be late because of that. But yeah, I think Pete and I are both missing baseball. Be fun to get together on a on a regular basis, but I thought during the off season that we would get together a little bit more online and play play some of these other games that we haven't played in a while. Just the two of us, like farm sim. But we had storm chasers. We didn't get much storm chasers done. He hasn't had his best year this year, um, as far as other commitments goes. Things going on outside, you know, in the real world. Um, so I think I think he, had he not had some of the some stuff going on, he he may have had more time for games. But he got a you know life's got to take his his priorities in the right place. It's just unfortunate for you know for our entertainment purposes that uh, he's been as busy as he has. But uh, yeah, I think we'd hope to have some more storm chasers, some uh, maybe some farm sim. Um, I definitely still want to try Sea of Thieves again. We didn't try Safer Seas yet. Our biggest complaint about Sea of Thieves, like a lot of those open world ones, was you just run into tr every time you see a person or a troll, and they just try and t kill you and take all your stuff. You know, it's the internet's a horrible place. <laughs> nice river. Is this the Danube <laughs> I, or the Volga? I don't know what. I don't know the rivers out here either. So, look at this. So, oh, is this is the photo op? All right, I'm going to do one of these cheat things here. Romania. We are going to get a picture of the bridge. Sorry, because it looks like there's really nowhere, there's nowhere to pull over to take this picture. Normally, I like to, you know, treat it like 
like you would in any situation by, you know, getting a good, pulling over and getting a good picture. But uh, they don't let you pull over. What choice do you have? I'm going to try and get the whole bridge here. Here it goes. There you go, new photo trophy. But, um, that's kind of a neat bridge, huh? Get back there. Romania. We're finally making it to Romania here. I may get to go into fast beeping thing in a minute here. I know, but I am I am kind of up against the clock here. Yeah, so looking forward to baseball. We should. Gosh. Hopefully, get Sea of Thieves in there at some point. I'm trying to think of what other games. Thirty-four tons gross weight. Not perfect technical state. Be more careful. What's what's wrong with my with my vehicle? It's not. What's wrong? With it? I thought I had this thing serviced recently. There's like absolutely nothing wrong with it. Be more careful. I mean, I hit that one car. I guess is that what they're crying about? up against the clock, I'm gonna get tired. These people. sure I'll be late for this delivery, but we are in Romania now. We are a long way from home, folks. This may be as far east as we get this off-season. we get back to the States, we'll be in Kansas. I want to do... Uh, one of the games I want to get on my wish list the next, it's probably going to go on sale in spring, spring sale. I think I mentioned it before. I am looking at Aerofly FS4 simulator. And if I get that, I want to do I'm flying around, show you what it looks like, especially some of the the towns, you know, that it that it highlights. I've always wanted to, in real life, do a... At the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit now. <laughs> Dude, thanks, people. I don't know why I didn't take that little street there, though. Um, I've always wanted to take a trip down Route 66, Get and I still would like to, maybe when I retire or whatever, but just in case I can't end up doing it in real life, 
Turn left. Eventually, you might be able to do it in this game, but I want to fly. I want to do a flight simulator where I fly. Ooh. Holy cow. Where I fly along the route. Wouldn't take as long. But, uh, you know, I leave Chicago, fly down towards St. Louis, through Missouri, um, Oklahoma, Northern Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California, along the road. So fly over a lot of these spots. And I think I would do that in Aerofly FS4. I've already actually picked out the airports that I would fly to. And I mean, I guess I suppose I could do it in Microsoft Flight Simulator as well. And maybe even Matt would want to do something like the that. First exit. But uh, I'm really looking forward exit to getting this back. Aerofly FS4. thought about doing it there. Every time, man, those green those lights, yep, blew right through it. Every time those lights, the way to get, you're close, you're close. All right, yellow, red. Keep oh. left, and then turn left. People. Turn left. Here we are, people. We're late, I know, but detour couldn't be couldn't be uh, avoided. Get ready to turn right. We made no mistakes. Turn right. Just the cards were dealt. It's all over now. Oh, I can't dawdle too much because. I may, uh, you never know, I may be close to getting this thing in here. But this is hard, this is going to be a right turn, a right turn uh, reverse here. And I am not, I'm going to be honest, I am not good at these. I'm probably going to need some help. Fact, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Do top down camera, hold on. can't tell where I am. Okay, so... Yeah, this is this is the help I needed, so you know, I... Again, I envision this as being some having somebody on the outside, you know, sort of gesturing me where to go. Jeez, this is just. This is tough. This is real tough.
how you do it. That is how it is done. Sun. Great, but I don't want to stop before I hit the wall. There's the line. Okay, we're gonna stop it right there. Good enough. Put it in park. Step outside. Hit the, the landing gear. See how close we were. Getting this right. Late, how long? Six minutes. Again, six minutes. It took me a little while. If I didn't have a lot of trouble parking, I would have made it uh, not being late. But I only lost 55 euros. That's not that's not bad at all. all right, I need what I need to do here is I need to look around in town for a place to sleep. I'm going to go over by the Balkan Loco. Sleep for the night. And then the next time, you know, I'm going to go. Get out there, but let's go to Balkan Locos. Leave these things here and go get some Time rest. To hit the road. We'll leave the windows open. All right, we'll leave those forklifts here. Throw them out here from Bosnia out to Romania. Iowa. Yeah, six minutes late. And they're not even that upset, you know. Like, well, we hoped you could have had it here. And once I said, hey, you know, we got we had a detour, had to drive all the way out to Nice. They, they felt more sorry for me than uh, <laughs> their anger melts away pretty quickly. Like, oh man, that sucks. Hey, don't worry about it. But we are gonna have to take 65 bucks off here. Up. And I said I would too. Uh, I know it's kind of loud, but it won't be long. I'm just going down the street here. I'll check and see what jobs are going out too, but you know, for next time. But I don't. I think it changes. I think if I look at it now, I think when we, we check again. Oh, not here, not here. You'll see that they're not the same. Not the same jobs. This is officially the farthest east that we have ever been. We have just two more runs in Euro Truck before we're back to the States. And welcome to Romania, huh? Looks like I take a right down here. It was a nice ride. I'm going to turn it around though. I'm actually driving on the tracks. So when I come out, I won't have to turn around. Okay. Stop here. I'm going to roll the windows up. Um, and then shut her off. Step outside one second here. Alright, here we are. Um, right across the street from whatever that is. We've got, we got a Balkan Loco over there. Just taking a look around. This is basically like a spur rail. 
comes out of this place. Walk down the street here just a minute. These guys are parked here for the night. Mercedes and the other one. I don't think. I think they got some. To do some car stuff here. Scrap metal yard. Yeah, not not a whole ton going on, but this is obviously where some of the guys, gals, park for the night. By the Balkan Loco. Balkan Loco, yeah. There's our truck. We're going to stay right up. There's like a park out that way or whatever. Yeah, so anyway. Um, I'll back in, unfold that thing, take some sleep, and we will catch you on the next one. Uh, until then, yeah, two more runs here in Europe, and we'll see where we go. We're going to eventually get a garage uh, somewhere else and buy a new truck. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye now.